right, what's good, man? Welcome back to another episode of Bendy Yards, man. Yeah, you baby. already know it's the only podcast for the hood. From the hood, man. Hey, before we get started, man, I need you to smash that subscribe button. Do all of that good stuff, man. That algorithm helps us. I don't even know what algorithm does, bro, <laughs> but it's a good stuff, bro. <laughs> but on today's episode, man, I just want to say... Bro, we're pumped for this one, man. We've seen this guy ever since we've started our journey of Bender Brothers, man. And uh, he's kind of seen us grow into what we are now. So vice versa with him. Everyone in the room right now, make a warm welcome for our also take flight. Yeah, bro. 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 Let's go, man. Bro, I appreciate you having me, bro. Thank Long you, bro. time in the making, bro. 100%. Long time yeah. in the making. What's been happening, man? What has been happening? Bro, it's been a good start to the year. You know Massive. what I mean? Bro, it's been a great start to the year. Fuck Shit yeah. that I didn't expect to happen. Yeah. Obviously, like the interviews of what, T-Pain, T.I., mm. Busy Bone. Bro, was, I don't know what the fuck happened at the start of this year, but I just talked to the right people who just made the right things happen. Mm. And that was the kickoff, bro. Yeah. Like I said, that just gave me a good start where I'm like, all right, we'll kick things into gear this year. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, 100%. Talk, bro. Bro, that's, Love that's to the, see it, bro. Appreciate it, bro. It's, it's something so crazy, bro. You know, I try to, um, I try to interview, what's his name? T. Mario. Busy Bone? Busy Bone? Oh, he, Where? Busy bone. <laughs> he rejected me so bad, bro. <laughs> How did you approach it, bro? Bro, I was like, hey, brother, how's everything? Bro? And he looks at me and goes, all good. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, Busy Bone. Was this like bro? a backstage kind of vibe? Yeah, or? bro. I oh. think like, he needed to go toilet, bro, but I don't oh, care. Right, jump. But to be fair, he was actually a good guy, bro. Like, he was a he nicest like a guy. guy. Probably timing, bro. Yeah. 100%. Yeah, it was. I actually, was I had rushing, like a middleman organizer too. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So that was where I was lucky, bro. Thank yeah, fuck. Bro. Yeah. Talk us through how this whole journey started for you from the from the get go, bro. From the let's, get go, mm, how early? Up, from bro. the start? From the from the start, start, bro. All right, I'll start from like rap side. Mm. I only want music side, bro, because this could go forever. Let's go, bro. We got time. All baby. right, we got time. We got time. All right. Oh, let's go way, way back. School days. Mm. I was into rap from like a kid, bro. I mm, remember yeah. listening to Nelly Country Grammar with my mom back in the day, all that kind of shit. Bangers, bro. Bangers, bro. Yeah. <laughs> so that was my first introduction to like music in general was Nelly Country Grammar. I remember that. I remember my sister's boyfriend, if you're ever watching this shit at that time. <laughs> bro, I've told him as well. I was like, bro, you got me into rap music. Like that was it. No way. Anyway, so Nelly Country Grammar happened. 50 Cent Ja Rule came along. Mm. I was a rap guy through and through from there on. At some point, we're going to fast forward bits here. Yeah. At some point in like high school, I don't know if I was just trying to find a place to fit in kind of yeah. thing. Someone got me into like rock music, but I'm talking like emo vibes. Yeah, yeah. So then I like kind of switched lanes completely, bro. <laughs> And I, I can picture you. But, I can picture you. <laughs> but there's photos. There's photos that I hope never make it out there. But were you rocking these ones? Oh, bro, <laughs> there was these ones, bro. There's some red shit. Oh, come on, bro. They're, they're bad, bro. So anyone with school photos, if they ever pull them out, you're fu you're fucked, bro. You're fucked. I, um, so that happened, but yeah. that that was a good time of my life because then I ended up in a band, bro. Right, and I was a pretty oh, quiet. Man. I was I was a quiet kid back in the day. When I say quiet, I was out there, but like the energy I got now wasn't me back in the yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. Really? Did you play an instrument or were you I, singing? I learned drums for this reason. Oh wow! But I didn't play drums in a band. I did vocals, bro. So you know, there's screaming no, vocals. I was in a hardcore <laughs> band, bro. I got people moshing, punching each other in the face. Shit was crazy, bro. <laughs> That was a good period of my life, bro. Like I was touring states. I went yeah. like even reasons to go over to Perth and all that. Like hey, good time. That's sick, you actually bro. traveled for bro, it. Bro, I traveled for it. I was hectic, oh, bro. I was actually like... talking to True God just before this. Yeah. Um, Redcliffe. I played a show in Redcliffe when I was like 20, bro. Because he was telling me. <laughs> and I was like, I don't even know what the fuck Redcliffe is. But I was like, there's a PCYC there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. So I was in that. And I was just stuck in that. And I thought, bro, I'm going to be famous at this shit back in the day, bro. <laughs> yeah. And the music we made wasn't like a big fucking genre either. So. Yeah. Bro, and that was it. I just kept going hard. But I get over being around some people, you know what mm, I mean? Mm. Everyone couldn't get along in the band, so I called it. I was the front man, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. like, I'm the guy. Yeah, I was yeah, like, nah, that's no it. More. I was like, no more, no more. So we, we quit that one. And then I just vibed with the music for a bit, bro. Mm. And then, um, I don't know, I made some friends that made Aussie rap music. And Mac Miller came out and was doing his thing. Yeah, oh, wow. And I'm like, these white boys can rap. Why the fuck can't yeah, I do? Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So I got me back into that circle of things. Mm. Keep in mind, I still listen to rap this whole time. Yeah. I just explore some other music options at the same time and all that, bro. That's epic, Mac bro. Miller came out. I started making music. Mm. So I rapped from like 21. When I was 21. What's your you artist now? name? I'm old, bro. Old. 32. Damn. Yeah. That bro. is old. <laughs> oh, bro. Damn. Yeah, bro. So I made music, rap music from 21, bro. What was your artist name? Don't don't YouTube it. Yeah, uh, RG Wings, bro. So RG wings, wings lives on, bro. Yeah, wings wings yeah, lived on word. from the start. Word. Um, 
I made music. I did a lot of cool shit during that, bro. Mm. Like I opened for some mad people. You remember Hobson? Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. I, I played like a 2,000 person show in Sydney in front of all these people. I had my nan up on stage with popping bottles. There's a that, <laughs> that video of that online is crazy, bro. I play with like Kidding, Machine Gun Kelly, yeah, all those yeah, kind of, bro. Just some, That's hectic, had bro. some good times with that, bro. It was mad. But then I was doing that for so long on and off, but like, mm. I don't know, bro. Just, I was getting older. Like, yeah. the mm. fuck am I going to do? Take mm. flight was always my motto from back then as well. Yeah, where, where did that come about? Take flight? Yeah. Yeah. Where it fully formed was I went to America 2012 with my cousin mm. and we just traveled around, bro. And I was like inspired as fuck. We mm. actually went to watch Mac Miller in like three different cities. We were seeing like, <laughs> at that time, not many rappers were coming here. So we were seeing like Wiz Khalifa. Yeah. Um, oh, fuck, I can't remember. There was a whole lot of people we saw over there, bro. Yeah. So I was just, I was inspired as fuck. That's when I first started rapping too. So when we came back, it was like, the, it was the, the flight over there that like inspired me to do shit. So take flight just became the motto, yeah? Yeah, yeah. So take flight was like, take flight's the team, take flight's the motto, take flight was just us, bro. Yeah, you know what I mean? Mad. And I just had that in my lyrics ever since. If you ever listened to any of my songs, bro, mm. I've just been talking about this shit forever. Mm. I've been making people scream at half drunk on balconies for fucking years, <laughs> bro. Um, and then that just continued on, bro. Yeah. But then towards the end of the rap shit, I was like, what the fuck am I going to do? I'm fucking mm. too... I need to do things all the time, yeah, yeah? yeah. So then I was like, I'm going to start a clothing brand, bro. Yeah. I was like, all right, Take Flight. Yeah, take yeah. Flight's been the name. At the start, I was like, it's a bit of a weird name, yeah. but it was my thing. So I did that for a little bit. During that time, while starting the clothing brand, I was like, bro, <laughs> I don't really like making clothes, bro. <laughs> I, can't, I can't design the shit. I yeah. just had the idea. I sold a few, made a little bit of money, but mm. nothing crazy, obviously. Yeah. Um, and in that time, I was promoting music promoting music through the page anyway, mm. through the clothing page, yeah. Yeah? yeah? right. You could tell if you look back that the reason I was doing it was promoting, like creating this platform without even knowing it that I could promote music, yeah? Mm. Out of nowhere, like yeah, it was yeah. just there. That's so you sick. could tell already it wasn't about the clothes. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then I got to a point where I was just like, fuck, what am I going to do? Mm. I went for dinner at El Jana with, you know, Moonboy? <sighs> yeah, yeah, El Jana, bro. bro. God damn, bro. I'm hungry. Garlic bro. sauce is straight. That tomb, bro. bro. <laughs> Cocaine in that garlic yeah. sauce. Bro. <laughs> yeah, I know Moonboy. Moonboy. Yeah. So I went with Kev. Kevin? Yeah, Kev yeah, from yeah, Moonboy and Alter Ego Visuals. I've seen them online. I f he's now a part of Moonboy anyway, yeah. so it's yeah. all good. Um, went for dinner with them at El Jan and they're like, bro, we see Take Flight everywhere. I just gave them some singlets to Take Flight yeah. jerseys. <laughs> and they're like, what the fuck is Take Flight? I see you promoting us. I see you promoting. And I was like, bro, I don't know anymore. You yeah. know what I mean? They're like, have you ever thought about doing interviews? And I was like, I've thought about it. I yeah. just haven't put it into effect ever. They're like, bro, the way you're talking to us, it's like you're doing interview right now. Yeah, like we're just yeah, chatting yeah. back and forth. And I was Mad. like, yeah, look, I've talked about it a couple of times, this and that. Bro, the next day I went and met up with like my, my creator mates. Yeah. And I was like, all right, you tell me which cameras I need and which like microphones I need to yeah. do interviews in this. I went out, I spent like, I reckon 10K on cameras and microphones. Mm. I don't have a lot of money either, yeah, by the yeah, way, yeah. bro. <laughs> yeah. I, I just had some money. I was yeah. like, bro, I believed in this shit. Yeah. Yeah, that next man. day I just went out and went crazy, bought all this stuff. And then it was like a week later, I was like, all right, I'm ready to go. Mm. COVID lockdown kicked in, bro. Oh. Yeah, and that, that COVID lockdown, Sydney was the one where you couldn't leave your house for yeah, four yeah, months, yeah, bro. You yeah. couldn't do shit. Sydney was bad, eh? It was fucking so shit, bro. Mm. Like you couldn't, you couldn't leave your neighborhood, which is another topic in itself. <laughs> yeah. um, and I was like, what the fuck am I going to do, bro? So I had the page. I was like, I'll just start promoting other things mm. until I can go kick in these interviews. Mm. I made up the little template that we used up until like a couple of weeks ago. I changed mm. it up. I made this template and I had it sitting there. I'm like, all right, when the time comes, I'll find a good video and we'll kick off this promo page. Yeah, yeah. T-Pain reacted to 1-4 and I was like, this is the moment. Yeah, so I made yeah. that mm. thing and I just kicked it off, bro. And then ever since, it's just turned into this full-blown music promo interview. Yeah. This, but anyway, uh. I stuck at that for the four months. It yeah. grew the page pretty fast. Mm. And I just kicked off the interviews ever since, bro. That's the short gist from Music World into yeah, this. Yeah, There's a whole yeah. lot in between that. Yeah. But then, um, yeah, once the, the COVID lockdowns kicked over, then we, um, bro, interviews kicked in. Yeah. As we we're just saying, sick, been bro. here then everywhere ever since. Yeah, that's mad, bro. But yeah, so a bit of everything, bro. Yeah. A bit of everything, bro. Facts, bro. Guys, if you don't know who this guy is, like, especially because, um, like, our audience is a Polynesian. Yeah, 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 for sure. Bro, like, this guy is pretty much the face of, how would you say it? The, the, the face of... When, when people like, come bro, over to Australia, yeah. big names such as like stars from all over the world, this guy interviews them. You know what bro, I mean? If you want to find out anything about Australian hip hop rap, go on to Take Flight yeah, right bro. now. He, he's got it all there, yeah. bro. He's My a guy. shit stirrer too, bro. Like, <laughs> put, on, bro. He was take a screenshot of someone's story and you'll put it 
<laughs> yeah, watch your stories, bro. But always positive as, as positive yeah, can yeah, be. Bro. 100, bro. 100. But that's the thing, bro. Like when I started, I was just like, I've been in the rap scene. Yeah. So like I understand how hard it could be to get out there, right? Yeah. Mm. So I wanted to start this platform where people were proud to share what I posted. Mm. Yeah. People were like, fuck, this guy's talking about me on a post it. Because there was some other stuff out there. Shout out to you guys, bro. Like I understand there are people doing it. But I was like, yeah, I can yeah. do it a hundred times better. Yeah, fuck it, and, that, and that's what now. I wanted to do, bro. I yeah. wanted to do something that people were proud to be seen on. Yeah. yeah, and I remember at the start, bro. My cousin, I was talking about this the other day. He said to me, bro, like one day people are gonna be like, bro, I want to be on Take Flight. Like they used to be like, I want to be on Complex in America mm. or Complex here too. I want to mm. be on this and that. He's like, and now, bro, you like you see these DMs, comments, people are like, I can't believe I'm on Take Flight. You know how crazy mm. that is to me, yeah, bro. bro. I just sit here on my phone posting shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. it's 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 ridiculous, <laughs> but. It has, yeah, slowly changed from just yeah. the Australian base to, like you said, the international side now, yeah, which yeah. is hectic. But it's a, another That's hundred stories base, as well. Bro, bro yeah, look, uh, we've had guests come on and like we've asked them, like, well, what's some stuff you want to do this year? Like Enzo, for instance. Yeah, yeah, bro, yeah. He's like, bro, I want to get on that um, take flight thing with the music. I was like, bro. Bro, Enzo, uh, come on Sky Sessions yeah, anytime. Come on, man. Bro, you know what I mean? And one thing that I do admire about what you do, bro, you've touched every single culture. Mm. So like if you have like the like a South African guy that came on, he t like he covers all all those guys. Anyone that sees another person that's from their culture, they'll watch that shit, bro. 100%. Obviously, click on your page and yeah, yeah. look through that. And bro. that was a goal since the start too, bro. And mm. I think, like I said before, starting from the band days helped me, bro, because it helped me understand there's more than just the music that I like. Mm. You know what I mean? Word. Like I might not personally listen to that, yeah. but people love some other shit. You know yeah, what I mean? Bro. It's helped me keep an open mind. Yeah. And also, like when I came up in the rap side, all my mates were from like the African side of the rap world. Like all the people I full connected with, all right? So like I came from that side which weren't getting a lot of look-ins, yeah? yeah right. But also I wasn't a big, like I didn't look into the Aussie rap side. Mm. Like that wasn't my thing. I know I'm white and I'm Aussie and I probably yeah, should have yeah. been that side. <laughs> but like, again, all my mates were like African dudes doing their thing. Yeah. So like I had to explore and find new shit too because yeah. I wasn't tapped in across it at the start. Yeah. That's bro, nice. you're all over it now. I have man. to, bro. You got to be fair, bro. You know yeah, what I mean? Fair yeah, playing yeah, ground is the main yeah. thing, bro. Speaking of fair, bro. Do you mind talking about some stuff that people want to actually know? Yeah, like yeah. that. Like we were Here talking we. about this off camera too, bro. Like mm -hmm. how you cover different, mm. different certain artists, bro. And yeah, like yeah, you, yeah. you can't like obviously you know both sides where there's beef in 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 Sydney. Like what what what's the feeling like when? Like you can't choose sides bro, right it's, now. It's, it's hard, bro. Like, it sucks, I don't want to have to choose sides. That's yeah. the thing. First and foremost, like, logically, we're a media platform, yeah? Yeah, yeah exactly. and I'm, But I'm just a dude. Like, this is why, like, the hardest part about it, though, is, like, you just don't want to get close to anyone. Yeah. Mm. Because you don't want them to feel some type of way. Like, they're mm. your mate, so you shouldn't post this or that. Yeah. yeah. So that's the hardest part is just staying... Civil. Just civil with yeah. everyone, bro. At the end of the day, that's why I try and post a bit of everyone, bro. Because like, I'm just trying to be fair, bro. Yeah, yeah. And I think a lot of people do understand that like, I'm literally just in it for the music. Yeah. Yeah. One thing I've never done, I'm not out there posting, this person wants to stab this person. This yeah, person yeah, wants yeah. to fight this person. Yeah. I'm posting their song. Yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? 100%. If their songs talk a shit in it, that's not my problem. Yeah. That's not it's on me. And, I, yeah. and I'm not co-signing what they say in the yeah, slightest, yeah. bro. I'm just strictly there promoting that their music yeah. is out. You know 100%. what I mean? Or, you know, this song's hard. This yeah, shit yeah. verse yeah, was yeah. dope. Like, it, 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 <laughs> yeah. it's a touchy subject, 100%. bro. But like, it's that simple, bro. Yeah. I think everyone's cool. Literally, everyone from every side I met over the time has been a sick cunt and Hectic, they seem yeah. to understand. And like the bigger the artists get, the more they seem to understand as well, bro. Yeah, like yeah. I have noticed that as well. Yeah, yeah. In the background, I don't know what the fuck is said, but you know <laughs> yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And to, to, to my face and on the internet, <laughs> yeah. bro, like I said, I'm just there to help everyone out where uh, I can. 100%, bro. That's sick, bro. It's like then sitting in top in, in a kind of way. Bro, we get it too, bro. And it's like, yeah. <laughs> <We're> <laughs> I think just, it's not fence sitting. I think it's just fucking we doing what we're doing. 100%. Yeah. 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 And I think people respect you now because you're not choosing sides, but you still get Love people from, from that sides. side. And yeah, that 100%, side. bro. It's and sick. like, that, that's it. At the end of the day, bro, what happens in the streets and that shit, it's way more than the music, bro. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? 100%. I'm strictly focused on the music and that's it, bro. Yeah. I will, one, one thing I do push out there that is a bit out of music when someone gets freed out of jail, bro. Like, and they, that's got nothing to do with other side. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, I'm yeah. like, hey, it's back in the rap game yeah, again. That's yeah, how I feel about it when I'm yeah. I'm like, these guys are back, yeah. ready to go again. So 100%. that's like the furthest outside of music into that. What do you say, criminal or yeah. whatever yeah, they've yeah. done, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> whatever they've done outside yeah. of music, the naughty I'm guys. just like they're back, bro. Yeah, yeah, I'm not yeah. promoting what they did. No, nah, yeah. I'm promoting that they're back and ready yeah. to go. Yeah, that's bad. Yeah, that's a good way to take uh, it, bro. Hundred percent. 
I never really I thought think, about it before, but it's coming out real well, bro. I that's legit. You know that's, I mean? that's literally what goes through my brain, I guess, man. Yeah. You get you cover your tracks, bro, yeah. pretty much if you're not doing anything for yeah. particular signs in mm. that. 100%. That's it, man. That's, what, that's one thing that we kind of, not struggle with, but it's like, we get bummed out, but we shouldn't have feelings towards that. Eh? Facts, bro. Yeah, we because we get it. <laughs> yeah, we get that's it. the thing you shouldn't, bro. Again, you're logically a bit like me, bro. Yeah, yeah. You're just here to create some fucking yeah. mad videos, yeah. mad yeah. chats between people. Hundred yeah. percent. But at the end of the day, people are gonna feel how they feel. And again, uh, maybe it's because you're so friendly, bro. Like yeah. I, I think I'm a pretty friendly guy. Your friend I don't is know, mine, bro. bro. The energy, <laughs> the energy you put out. Maybe they think, fuck, these guys are my best mates now. Yeah, and they're yeah, like, yeah, yeah, now, now they're our mates. Yeah, that's it. But nah, bro, you're just doing your thing. Yeah. And he's still, yeah. But, but bro, people, what I want people to know, which they probably will never know, mm. this is how we are. With yeah, each other. 100%. Like our, our, yeah. Our, our group, you know what I mean? And it's like. And it's not just like, fuck, we're, we're like this to anyone new. We anyone mean. new, you 100%. know what I mean? Well, no, we bro, anytime yeah. I met you guys before, seen you, I've only seen you out once before, yeah. but the energy was high, bro. Yeah, it's bro. just you can't see it. We love a laugh, bro. And, and that's, that's what we laugh, bro, but. I don't know. We get bummed out real easy. Like, oh, fuck, Steve, <laughs> you don't want to be stuck. Hundred percent. And, and I think it's when we see our people doing good music from either side, bro. We're just a fan of the music, bro. You what know what I mean? I don't care who you are, bro. If the music's good, the music's good, bro. Bro, facts, bro. Like the worst thing. I was actually laughing today, bro. I was in the car. I was driving. One four came on. Pumped yeah. that out, bro. And then. <laughs> then Hooligan Hebs came on. <laughs> bro, and I was just seeing to both of them, bro. I was like, bro, it's shit. not our fault that it's hard tracks come out of yeah, opposite exactly sides, bro. Right. And they're both good tracks. Bro, so fucking but heavy, man. just let us listen to both, bro. <laughs> 100%, bro. Have but you? again, if you just keep doing your thing, yeah. you know, that's, that's all it's about in the oh, end, yeah. bro. You're yeah. not getting involved deeper than that. Yeah, bro. Bro, so like going back to the covering of like Aussie, the mm. Aussie scene and slowly stepping into the international scene. So music was your first passion. Where did you find the passion to like proper go dive into these people and start promoting everything and everyone. I think it's because of like the background that I've had in music, bro. Yeah. Like I've put in work for years doing yeah, what I was yeah. doing, yeah? But like I realise now that I wasn't putting in as much work as I should have, yeah? yeah, yeah and yeah, now okay. I see, and this is how I now I see other artists and I'm like, you're asking to be put on. You're asking yeah. to be this. Nah, bro, you work. actually got to put in yeah, work. And work, I and I get bro. it because I see how much work I put in to take fly now. Yeah. It's a 24-hour job. Mm, yeah, and okay. I have another job. Mm, <laughs> you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? Yeah. That's another story yeah. in itself. Yeah. But like, it's like a non-stop job. Mm. And I put in that commitment because like, I truly believe in it. If I put that's that awesome, that commitment bro. into my music before, maybe I could have made you, something yeah, out of it, yeah. you know what I mean? But I guess it just wasn't meant for me. Yeah. But I, I just feel like I have a good intel into what works and what doesn't work in that oh, side. I feel that's what I've got. You know what I mean? Yeah, so like now I can look back and be like, what did I need help promo back in the day? Yeah. Mm. Or what, what can help grow the scene? Like again, with the things I'm doing, who's doing interviews every fortnight yeah. and then plus interviews on top. And that gets the artist story out. Like and you're getting a bit that, of my Like your posts as well. You, you ask questions on the post. It gets people talking. hundred yeah. percent. Just to yeah. keep. And the like, that's the best thing about like your page. You can just go on, fucking have a scroll and be like, Oh, this is up. Wings has asked this, fuck, what do I reckon? Mm -hmm. You can't start thinking, fuck, oh yeah, maybe there's someone better, maybe, you know, like your page is so fucking for everyone. Hard, yeah. bro, that was it. And like my goal was just like, it's very community based, bro. Yeah, 100%. Because at the end of the day, I'm, I'm not catering for myself. I'm catering for the people that are, yeah. are tuning into the page, yeah, bro. That's it. What are these? They want to have their say? Here, have your say. You yeah. want to see this? Here, I share. And if something doesn't work, I switch it up, all right? We'll try something else, you yeah. know what I mean? Because at the end yeah. of the day, you're just catering for your audience, bro. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. this is what I say about artists all the time, bro. Don't even worry about getting on Take Flight, bro. Yeah. <laughs> worry about building your own audience. Mm. You, you don't have to give a fuck about me, yeah, man. Yeah. Like, And then that's probably when you end up on Take Flight because you, you've <laughs> yeah. done something real hectic, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, 100%, bro. Um, but yeah, to answer your question, it's just the years of being in the grind in the background. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like knowing what how hard work can be to get out there. It just made me appreciate all the artists. That's Not sick, only artists, but even the clothing brands now. Like I talk a lot on clothing brands yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I made clothes for that year or two. Yeah. You know how hard that shit is, That's bro? That's hard, bro. Man, like sourcing. We did it for a month. <laughs> <laughs> we did one drop. <laughs> we did one drop, sold out. <laughs> Good money, but we're not doing it again. Tell me, did you, did you use hard. blank shirts that were already like- Fuck eight, it off, bro. bro. <laughs> hard, right? Cause I went down the trip of trying, down the track of trying to like get shit in from China. Yeah, yeah. Like custom, bro. Dealing with these Drummers people overseas there, yeah, is yeah. so hard. And that's why I have so much respect for the clothing brands that do it too, because mm. it's not easy work, bro. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. then promoting that shit. So like yeah. I've touched every side. So I'm kind of like, 
look, I, I respect it. I respect yeah. what these guys are doing, so I'm happy to help where I yeah. can, bro. Yeah, and that's that's, that's bad because the clothing brands they fuck with you heavy too, bro. Oh, yeah, bro. Seeing you at the Mad Gears, bro. Right, right. <laughs> the Mad Gears, bro. Mad I'm gears, your gear like shit. <laughs> Look at Shout brother, out everyone, bro. Oh, yeah, fuck it up. Shout out Judah. Shit. Yeah, Shout out yeah. Judah. Shout out JD Sports. Yeah, Shout out Jody yeah. Just. Hey, Shout out Street X. Come yeah. on. I'm waiting for we so we can do those shoutouts, bro. Where's my shit at, bro? Come on, bro. How'd you get in? Look, when I seen JD, I was like, all right. It's like serious now, bro. Like, like I don't That's know. For me personally, bro, like, so cool. Australian clothing brands. I feel like you have to have a, like a pool for it. Mm-hmm. Like you have to have a good pool. But when you see like a, a big store like Foot Locker or JD, and then they're like, you guys are collabing, doing stuff like that. I'm like, oh, okay, these guys are legit, legit. You know yeah, what I mean? bro. Like shout out to JD, bro. They help, like they helped us with this podcast now. Yeah, yeah. They, they're just like, we love what you're doing. We love the community you're building. Mm. Let us be help. a part of it, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? And like, <laughs> you know, the best, like. it's the best, bro. Yeah. Um, and they're just good people, bro. You see how much they're doing for the community in general mm, outside. 100. How many artists they get involved in 100. all their rollouts, yeah. bro? 100. And that's why I respect JD as a company itself, <clears throat> because they're putting on for so many people, bro. Yeah. Like. Yeah, how bro. hard is it for an artist to get money out here, mm. bro? 100. People think yeah. artists are rich. They're not rich, bro. Yeah. Well, oh, look, there's some that have got some <laughs> yeah. money, yeah. but like. JD's putting money in these guys' pockets yeah, when they yeah. get them in these campaigns, yeah, bro. bro. Um, so it was hectic when yeah. they um when we had that chat about getting on board and helping out with some of the podcast yeah. episodes That's too, bro. Sick, they're smart too, bro. Because I feel like they're 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 catching up with how social media is working now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or for Australian yeah, culture. Especially trends, New Zealand bro. culture. 100%. You know what I mean? Like if you see like a shoe, a footlocker on Instagram, how many followers they got? They're heaps. Probably 100, 200 max. But when they see collabing with like who's hot right now, facts. All right, it starts rolling there. All right, everyone wants to go. Sales full go through this. the roof. You know what bro. I mean? So everyone's seeing it on it's every like page. It's like NBA, bro. Like you know how bro, NBA it's not fucking collabing with Jordans and That's shit, it. bro. That's mad. It's, no, I'm, it's, I'm, it's hectic, bro. And they got some mad shit in there too, bro. Yeah. They just need some more uh, basketball jerseys. I'm a big jersey fan guy. Yeah. yeah. But I see. Oh, you love your jerseys. Bro, bro, I love jerseys, bro. I didn't get all these tattoos for nothing, bro. <laughs> <laughs> come, come on, man. How many tattoos you got? Hell, I don't bro. know. These a few, bro. I got book. some stupid shit, but, you know, it's Damn. a bit of a story every any, week. Go. Any meaningful ones? Everything's oh, got they a all mean, <laughs> they'll, nah, they'll be meaning. Everything's got, got, nah. for Everything's got a meaning. <laughs> the, the best one is this Guzman Y Gomez tattoo on the back of my leg here, bro. Look at that logo. Look how well it's done, bro. <laughs> Damn. I got my free, free burritos for two years, bro. <laughs> no way. I swear to God, bro. Hundred <laughs> percent. Bro, if you're not desperate, I don't know what. Man's <laughs> <laughs> need to eat, bro. <laughs> the hardest part was two years worth of burritos, bro. Yeah. So oh, bro. Me, me and my people went doing four months, bro. <laughs> what? Yeah, bro. But it was a good time of life. Yeah, yeah. Holy That's shit. That's nuts, bro. So you, are you still working? <laughs> yeah, bro. A full-time yeah. job? Yeah, bro. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. who told me this. Like, they said that you're, f- like, working full-time. Yeah, still, and still full-time. And Nine to five, like, seven or three, whatever it is. Shit, bro. So yeah. there's... <laughs> this guy's a living there's example levels to this shit, bro. There's levels, bro. But this is what I mean. Like, when you find something that you actually believe in, bro, you full just make it happen, cuz. Mm, yeah. Like, mm. it's, it, I don't know how. Yeah. And people ask me that. They're like, how, how do you fit it all in? I don't fucking know, bro. Yeah. We just fit it in because yeah. I have to. Yeah. And yeah, like, to see the shit I'm building, it just makes you excited and want to do more. Yeah. And obviously, mortgage prices are so far through the roof, yeah, bro. Yeah, we all yeah. got families out here now. You know what I mean? You, gotta, you have um, to have so I can't just. Job, eh? And again, music world doesn't make you rich right now. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you just got to do what you can do. Fucking hell, if you know it doesn't bro. make you fucking cock hard, <laughs> I don't know, if fucking will, bro. Fuck. That's, that's, that's sick, G. How, how is it juggling all that? Yeah, work, look. So it goes work, work, mm. dad, mm-hmm. partner. Because mm. I'm, I'm pretty much in the same position now. Congrats. Congrats to you, Babies, too. come on. Oh, our babies, bro. Next, next gen. My son's oh, yeah. better than your kid, though. I'm hey, sorry, that? I said my son's better than your kid. Though, <laughs> it's a girl. Uh, my son's better than your dad. Yeah, my girl would drop your son. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to take that on, bro. <laughs> yeah, how, how is it for you? Because you're active, um, active. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, look, it's good, bro. Like, I've been very lucky, bro. I've been very lucky. My mm. son is an absolute legend. Yeah. Yeah. He's kicked back. My missus is an absolute legend. Yeah, that's like, sick. Oh, I'm in Queensland right now for a day, you know what I mean? But she's just holding it down at home. Good she's good doing support, her thing, bro. Yeah. And how I'm out filming pods, interviews and that, like, the support is what helps, bro. 100, man. Um, it's busy, bro. It's just nonstop. Like yeah. my brain, my phone, nothing's ever switched off. Yeah. That's all it is, bro. Um, but again, I, I think I can just see a good outcome at the end. And it's obviously paying off now. That keeps me excited, bro. Like yeah. the page is growing every day. You yeah. know, they say like when you get likes, it hits like your, get your dopamine levels high. Mm. Your, <laughs> bro, yeah, like the page is growing every day. Like I'm, these thousands of followers every week. You're yeah. just like, fuck, 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 fuck. Yeah. And like my thought is now I can never let it slip because it's not only reliant on me. 
And it's relying on all the people I'm helping it take yeah. flight, relying on the people in the background. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not just me I let down if I stop any of this shit. Yeah. If I stop that, if I stop my work, I can mm. let my family down. It's just like, I got to just do everything I can while I can, yeah? Who's, you been, who's been your favorite artist so far? In what way? Just overall. Like to interview, to chat to, discuss? Just, yeah, just as, as a person, as a, uh, uh, you know what? I'll split into two, as a person and then as an artist. Mm. This but, is where you can be biased. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's hard. Now, nah, to be honest, I got a group of people and I'll say it over and over again. Yeah. Queensland people, bro. Don't Queensland worry. artists, bro. I love everyone up here. Yeah. Like, and there's so many artists I get along with, Sydney and all that kind of thing. And they all know that. And yeah. Melbourne too now. Yeah. But there's something different in the water up in Queensland, bro. Yeah. Like the Lissies, yeah. the Knox, yeah. Yeah. the Army, bro. Like Knox, I could, like, it, to me, I don't know what you think, but Knox, I feel like he's a, a mate, bro. Like, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? 100%. Like, he's absolutely, like, the best dude. Yeah. Anytime I've seen him, it's just like hanging out with my cousin. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. he's the best dude. So I would say Queensland people in general for personality reasons, yeah. bro. Like, instantly, like I said, when we did that first interview at Lissy's house, yeah. I just felt like I was part of his group of mates. You yeah, know what I mean? Bro. And it's just grown, grown from there. Yeah, that's so. I cool, think we're bro. just mad. Bro. I, I think Queensland people or Brisbane people just more laid back. Bro, so kick back, cause. just kick back. Yeah. Bro. Like, I don't know. Like, it's not as much. I don't know pressure. Like everyone's just doing their own yeah. thing. I yeah. think it, people it, here in Queensland, um, they like being who they are. Mm. Yeah. They don't really have to put on a. I'm this rapper, so I have to act like this way. Mm. They're Thanks. just themselves. But how's really? Lissy pulled up to interview with the Akubra sandals on? Right. Bro, bro, fuck, that's you know him, bro. <laughs> that's you know what I mean? It just doesn't give a fuck. Oh, and yeah. that, that's you, what was mad. You think he's cool, bro? Wait till you get on the piss with him, bro. <laughs> Biggest dickhead I know, bro. <laughs> bro, hey, bro be, that's be how warned, I was introduced bro. to you guys through <laughs> yeah. the videos you got with Lissy, bro. That shit was hilarious, bro. That's, that's nuts how you've seen us. How did you like find us? Uh, I don't know if I just like accidentally came across it on TikTok yeah. or if Lissy shared it because it was the the you guys in the house dancing. Yeah, oh no, yeah. it was you, bro. Yeah, yeah. Doing the fucking like the shopping trolley and all this kind of thing. You <laughs> the, remember this? The video? second that, video. Was it? was it? The second video. I think the shopping trolley. That was the dance. That was the dancing one, right? At the kick-ons? <laughs> Is that so what it was? That, that's, that's a different video of the other boys from the area. Okay, well, maybe someone just shared it there yeah, because that, that's the first thing I remember. Yeah. And I, it was fucking so funny, bro. Yeah. It was so, and, and that's why I was like, who are these guys? I think we started talking not long after that, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Then we had the little video call, yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah, and yeah. I was like, hey, yeah. you guys are hilarious. You're like, hey, we love you, too. And I'm yeah, like, bro, yeah. man, let's link one day. A couple years bro, later. Bro, let's link one day. We didn't have any music whatsoever, bro. <laughs> but I just like, again, I, I, we're just talking off camera. Your personality yeah. shine, bro. I just yeah. love you as people. Like yeah, that, you yeah. know what I mean? That's yeah, bro, um, bro. it just drew me into that, and then I was like, "Bro, the doubt, and look, we're here. Yeah, we're 100%. here, bro. Come people, on, like, people need to know that this has been talked about for a very long time. It's not like we hit a mark, you know? right? Yeah, hundred percent, bro. And it, you know what? It's two different crowds. Mm -hmm. Like people looking for entertainment, people looking for whatever niche you're going for. You know what I mean? Facts, and now bro. we're together, and we're gonna kiss off camera. <laughs> and we're do all that shit. Come on, man! Hundred percent, though. Hundred percent, though. Has, has, has anyone checked it yet? Ooh, la! Look, there's uh, a lot of online talk shit. Yeah, always yeah. keyboard worries. A lot. You get heaps of like fucking random DMs. Oh, bro! Or you put that video down, or else I'm gonna fucking find <laughs> Not you. Not a lot of that. Not a lot. There's been like one or two asking me to take shit down. Yeah. Um, but in person, only like one person has ever said like, "Why don't you post my shit, bro?" Oh, word. And I was like, who? Nah, nah. nah. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. <laughs> nah, nah. To, to be honest, I actually was just like, but I haven't seen you hardly do anything. And yeah, they're like, yeah. yeah, I've just only dropped one song this year. I'm like, well, well, that's, what, that's why. Yeah. And you know what? Then they started going hard. I'm not saying it's because of me, but yeah. like that, that was at that point where they started going hard. And I was keen to post their shit, yeah. but I actually had seen nothing. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, other than that, nah, there has been some altercations in the background. People talk shit, bro. Like that's another thing. Like I'm just a media page, bro. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. We just pick and choose some things to put out there. Yeah someone's always going to be angry yeah. about mm. what you do. There's mm. always going to be someone angry that they're not getting posted or you posted the wrong thing or this and that. Yeah. You just got to deal with it and 100. move along, bro. You just, the, the hardest thing about it is that like I'm outside. Mm. You know what I mean? Like I'm not an office. Like yeah. any, any any platform like mine has probably been like an office full of people mm. or yeah, you know right. what I mean? People in suits putting out this and that information. It's just me on my phone. Yeah. I go out to shows. Yeah. You'll see me there. So I'm very accessible. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I guess it makes people think, hey, I yeah. can talk to him some kind of way. Yeah, yeah. Mm. But like, I'm not a hard cut. I'm not trying. Like, you know what? Like, just chill, bro. It's all good. Yeah, We're yeah. just chilling, bro. But Man. I get it. People love their music. People love their friends' music. It's always going to be that way. They're very in their feelings about that. Yeah. It's cool. Support yourself Supporting, and support your friends. Yeah, but, and the support will come all around. It doesn't, you don't have to worry about just me. Yeah. That's mad. Fuck, like, that's sick. When was, 
When was your like the moment you knew Take Flight popped off? Bro, I don't know if there was a moment. Rude uh, <laughs> 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 Hope it was a good message, bro. <laughs> I still I still don't feel like in my head there's been that moment, bro. Like obviously I've seen it grow gradually yeah. and fast at times. Like shout out to Moses and Tactic Sky Sessions, bro. 100. That that shit at, for that period of time helped the page pop. It, uh, it helped their own pages pop too. That shit was crazy, bro. If you go through like however many rappers reels you want, any of the top guys, yeah. I'm gonna tell you Moses and Tactics reel on Sky Sessions was yeah. bigger than it over the last five years. Like it was it was crazy, bro. Like um so that was a good moment for me, just seeing like people are keen to tap in. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. People are keen to tap into Aussie dudes rapping. Yeah. You know what How I mean? do you feel when you see like your your page being shared or being viewed, you know, seven. Bro, I love it, bro. Yeah. I fucking love it. Because again, bro, like I know how much work I'm putting in the background, yeah, right? Yeah. Um, so like to see when people appreciate what we're yeah, doing, yeah, yeah. even though it might not be me rapping on camera, yeah. you know, I, I had to hit these boys up. They came to see and we got shit done, yeah, blah, blah, yeah, blah, yeah. blah, blah. We moved from there. Like yeah. I know the work that's gone in to get it out there. Yeah. So when people appreciate it and yeah. that shit goes crazy. And again, not only for me, but for the artists in general. Yeah. It's hectic, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. It's hectic that's, to yeah, see yeah, everyone G. growing all together, man. Yeah, that's you know what I mean? But you, bro, you got to realise like if you like it or not you're the plug come on bro yeah. you're like you're I think, I think that's in the bar it's like your Australian hip hop rap R&B plug I, you're like, the plug yeah, yeah. bro yeah bro like, again I don't think I fully take it in because what happens is I'll do something and I'll move on to the next yeah don't like, have time to like. You don't have it, time, yeah. bro, because like if I do, I just start slipping. And yeah. someone, yeah. I, I watched a th uh, back when I did the clothing stuff, I started listening to a lot of people's podcasts, bro. Now I don't like listen to any podcast. Yeah. Oh. Talking to so many people has made me not want to listen to anyone <laughs> yeah. else, bro. Same. I'm telling you, bro. Same. But like I remember them saying something. They're like, it's not that 40 year old guy in the office with a big company you need to worry about. Mm. It's that 16 year old kid plotting away how he's going to take over you. You got to mm. worry about. And ever since I heard that, I was like, but that's it I can never stop yeah. you got to keep evolving you got to keep changing you got to yeah. keep going yeah. and I was like D that's it that's yeah. what gave me the mindset to go I can never slow down ever mm -hmm. that's nuts so oh. when you do hit shout out to that podcast yeah. <laughs> <laughs> whoever that is I need to watch it was that like, shit, you, you know Diamond that clothing brand Diamond that was big back in the day I don't know if it was like a massive diamond in the middle of the yeah shirt. like it was a brand it's a US brand yeah. it still goes hard it was the guy who created that I was listening to all these clothing brand yeah, podcasts yeah, yeah. at the time that's what he said bro and I was like facts that's Fuck, nuts man. That's actually so like what, like when you do hit like a roadblock or mm. you know a challenge. Mm. Well, what's how do you get over them? Depending what that challenge is, cause yeah. you know what I mean. Mm. Like if it's an artist, I can't get in. Bro, I'll just put my work in. I don't know. So I'm not trying to be some forceful dude, bro. Yeah, like yeah, I said, we're just some kickback dudes, bro. Boat, yeah. I'm not trying to push and be annoying, bro, because yeah. I'm probably going to see you around the corner in a couple <laughs> yeah, of days. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? I'll see you at a show. I'm not trying to be an annoying guy. Yeah, I just want to, like, if you want to come on, if you want to come do stuff with yeah. us, mad. If yeah. not, the day will come. Trust me, you're going to yeah, want yeah. it because it's going to be a hectic time for all yeah. of us involved. Yeah. So and that's like our main roadblocks. Yeah. Yeah. So you're like just fucking if it comes it comes 100 percent. i'm yeah. gonna push for it yeah and you got to make that connects to get in the certain rooms yeah. to make things happen yeah. but if it's really not happening and there's things out there that want to happen that still haven't happened yeah, yeah. you know what i mean like the time will come bro yeah. you know what yeah, i mean man, just do what bro. i can in the meantime eh? that's man. nice bro that's nice because i feel like i've been asked this so many questions uh, i've been asked this so many times about like how do you deal with rejection in that mm. way? Like, it, especially when you're first starting, mm -hmm. that shit can be depressive when you're first oh, starting, bro. you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like, and like oh, your man. mental just goes up and down and you're like, bro, mm. is this even worth it? Or like, am I even, do I want to do this anymore? Yeah. Right? Like, you know what I mean? So how, how, how is your whole headspace going around that from where it was back then to where it is now? Well, like, bro, at the start, I, bro, again, I've been, like, lucky in some of the yeah. shit I've done. Mm. I can't lie, bro. Like, my first interview was chilling it. And to some people, chilling it is, like, like, to his fans, he's, like, God. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Like, he yeah. has a bulk fan base, yeah? yeah. So that was cool for me. And, like, remember, we started at nothing. Yeah. I don't know if it's something he saw in Take Flight page at the start. Because, what, when we interviewed him, we had maybe 2,000 followers. You know what I mean? Mm. It was, like, it was like really? nothing. It was, like, fresh, fresh, bro. It was yeah, nothing. Yeah. So we've been good for that side of things. Um. I missed what you said. Bro, I forgot what you said already. That's the second beer kicking yeah. in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got it. Wait for the shots, man. Wait for the shots. Your mental was back then until it is now. Obviously, be, being bulletproof now. Like, oh, rejection. Rejection. Yeah, rejection, yeah. you know. Again, bro, just honestly, I think I've been like, again, through the music world, bro. Yeah. Like, I was Don't a, look at me like I, that, I, I, was, I, was a, I was a rapper for how long, bro? Like, yeah. I made music for how long? Yeah. You get rejected all the time in nice. everything you're doing. Like, yeah. I know that side of things, yeah, man. Yeah. So I think I was kind of just like built from there that like, yeah. I know what's going to happen, bro. Yeah. Like, you just have to deal with it, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, 
yeah, you just just it, deal it with it, bro. Happened. But again, like I said, I've been dealing with it for years, so it's not like I'm just a, a fucking it's beast a that, feeling, that doesn't. Yeah. You know, it's nothing that I can't. But like, I just yeah, I just I've experienced it for years. So right now, I'm yeah. just like it is what it is. Move on to the next. Yeah, man, thanks. And now now you're doing like interviews at festivals, bro. Yeah. Oh, T Pain and that, bro. Like, who who T Pain? T I T I T I P apparently T I T I P and who else? Busy, busy, busy bone, bone. Yeah, yeah. NLE Chopper. N- N- bro, oh I yeah, you that, bro. Did, did that was hectic and... too. Shit interview could have been better, yeah. but nah, you're getting what you can. You know yeah. what I mean? Well, like, are they are they like they are like are they the way they are on camera? Yeah, oh, T Pain, bro. T Pain is the exact same guy you see him on streaming. He looks like, like oh, even really? that voice, bro. Like his voice is just so iconic <laughs> yeah, hearing yeah. him talk. Same dude. Yeah. <laughs> Ti, you <laughs> just sick. felt this like persona when he walked. Not persona. You felt this energy when he walked in the room. You're just like. I know you're a bad cunt, bro. But nicest guy ever. Yeah. Nice yeah. guy ever. Busy bone, laid back, chill, mm. ready to have a chat. They were just good people, bro. Mm. But um, again, just getting even to those rooms was just mad, bro. But like, even for that, my goal was to get some more rappers from that festival. Yeah. Yeah. Cause they're like, I wouldn't say older, yeah. different generation. Like a lot of people on Take Fight don't care about TI or yeah. Busy Bone, mm, bro. Yeah. But he, they're iconic. So no matter yeah, what, yeah, I was yeah, gonna yeah. do it. Yeah. Yeah. There were other rappers on that festival that we tried and just didn't happen. But it's like, but look at what we did get. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? You got to see yeah. the positive oh, side bro. when it comes to that oh, shit, bro. 100%. To even be in their presence. It's hectic, bro. Like, <laughs> you're sitting right next to them, bro. Like. Bro, and like Busy Bone, again, like I grew up in a different era to Bone Thugs and Harmony. Yeah, yeah. But to hear the stories and the shit he was talking about was yeah. hectic, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's nuts, bro. How, how, do you, how do you feel like, do you, re- do you reckon they can still pop off now if they kind of cater to today's social them, media style? Yeah. Uh, Nah, you ain't gonna die. T Pain, yeah, bro. T Pain. T Pain is a beast, bro. T Pain is always a beast, bro. Yeah. That guy can sing his ass off, 100. and bro. he knows how to make a hit. Yeah. yeah. Ti, I personally don't even listen to him that much anymore. Yeah. To be fair, I don't listen to nothing but yeah. majority Oz music these days, yeah. and a couple of US artists. Yeah. Um, Ti can make some hits. Busy Bone, I think it's hard for him to pop off now, mm. in my opinion, man. Like, yeah. I don't know. He's still doing his thing in the background, though. Yeah, he's yeah. he's yeah. more he's focused on growing his kids shit. anyway, to be yeah. honest, bro. All he talked about on and off camera, even if you follow him on TikTok or, uh, sorry, Instagram, yeah. he's just focused on putting on for his kids, mm. which is That's mad, bro. Yeah, 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 he's yeah. done his thing. That's he's like, all right, let's grow my family now. Yeah. That was his kid that was performing with him, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, That's he brought, his son. Yeah, That's bro. That's his son, bro. Yeah. I was like, damn. YBL Sinatra. YBL Sinatra. But yeah, he's just trying to put on for his family, which is hectic to see as well. You know what I mean? Yeah. Bro, like, imagine that, imagine that, bro. Your dad. Keep, can you see yourself performing <laughs> with your dad? No way, bro. Around the dad. world, massive yeah. festivals. No way. Bro, I couldn't even work with my dad, bro. bro. <laughs> That's another story, <laughs> bro. Yeah, bro. His, his dad's a fucking, you know, well, world renowned. I feel like, yeah, and you grow up in that environment. Yeah, you're kind of like. So he would have been like, I want to be like my dad. Bro. Yeah. I want to be like that. Yeah. And then sure enough, he's doing shows with him. 100%. So. That's nuts. You're trying to get your daughter in here on the podcast. Oh, bro, like, <laughs> my, my daughter will tear this shit Come up. Come on, bro. man. <laughs> I already said, I said, my son, I'll either have take flight at the level where he can just slot in and yeah. just in the background, I said, you're staying out of the rap world. It's too much chaos, yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Too, too much drama. chaos, bro. <laughs> just stay away, bro. Let me deal with it. Yeah. And we'll make you a good life. You just kick back, bro. Know, bro. Are, you, are you scared for your kid growing up? I'm not scared, bro. But like, you'll know now yeah. when you become a dad, you start thinking of all these things, bro. Yeah. Mm. You're like, what kind of friends they're gonna have? Because mm. I know what <laughs> I know yeah. what I was like, bro. Yeah, bro. And I was I had a decent upbringing. Like, yeah. obviously, there's a ruckus in the background. Yeah. yeah. But like, still nothing too crazy. Yeah. And I'm like, bro, I still ended up having a wild life along the way. Yeah, I'm like, bro. oh, that's the most scary bit. Like, yeah. you just want to make sure they're doing good shit, bro. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I, mean? uh, I bet you, you will, bro. Yeah. Oh, that's the goal, As the bro. dad, bro. All he does oh. is smile and laugh right now. So yeah. if he keeps doing that way, in a good spot, bro. <laughs> Hundred, bro. Sick. What was your What was your first big gig? Like, what was your first big gig with Take Flight? Like you? In what way? Like, all right, you just been into, like you've been invited to interview whoever, but this person had like a big name. Well, chill, bro. Chill was oh, so, my first so, ever so interview. So Chill was the very first. first you didn't even do in- inter- interviews before that. Zero, brother. I never had any interview experience. <laughs> I'm not the some tech journalist. Flight was dude. just a clothing brand. English, page. English at school. I was shit. So it's not like, but like, I can write a fucking email. But yeah, 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 yeah. like, to be honest, like, there was nothing else. I just was like, I can talk to people. Why can't I do this? Yeah, yeah. And that was it. I, I rocked up in Chill's garage and we gave it a crack. That's you know what I mean? That's Gave it a crack and he was lifting weights and Yo, shit. Bro, that was a, I walked in, this man walks down, he's like, how you going, how you going? Yeah, yeah. Comes down, um, what's he do? Takes a few scripts of pre-workout, pumps like four cones and he's like, all right, let's lift some weights, bro. And then he's like, Whoa! 
bro. You know what? We just came out of COVID, as I said. Yeah. I tried to lift that stack. I look like a bitch. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> but but you know, for his bring me back to the garage now. <laughs> bring me back to the garage now. He called me skinny and everything. I'm like, fuck, I'm going to the gym. Shut up, bro. Fucking skinny, oh. get back, bro. Oh, bro. <laughs> That's bad. But yeah, so that was like the very first, like number one. Bro, like, yeah, no resume you. before that. Zero, bro. bro. That's nuts. Yeah, bro. yeah. It was, I was off to a good start. Yeah, hundred, hundred, bro. It, I can't say that's lucky because we're pretty lucky. Fuck, we. What was your first? Fuck. TikTok. Oh yeah, you, and bro. it took off. Yeah, to the it start. took off. Yeah. So like, it's. We got you know, we've been talking. We talk. We talked about this before. Do you reckon it's harder? Yeah. Grinding your way up to the top and mm. then reaching the top, or starting from the top and maintaining the top. Probably, Matt. Look, I'm I'm, I'm not at the top yet. You're but, at the top. Oh, bro, like, 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 like realistic. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. No, Oh, man. That way. I don't know. I, I'm pretty consistent now, so I feel like I'm at a good spot. But mm. in saying that, like, if my energy ever dies or if I'm like, fuck, I've had enough for a bit, I, I, you could be overtaken at any time. So mm. probably staying there, bro. Mm. Because at the start, you can sw switch, change. Once you find yeah. your flow, we'll yeah. find you can just pump yeah. through it. Yeah, yeah. But once you get to the top, you still got to think of new ways to entertain yeah. this audience, yeah, keep yeah. going. So probably stay at the top, yeah. guys. Yeah. That's, that's cool. That's cool. What about yeah. you guys? What do you think? What was your answer? Probably staying at the top. Yeah, like, like popping off, popping off and then staying. It has yeah. to be, bro. Because yeah. I think that's, well, not, we're not at the top, but we popped off and then kind of, Flipped it, you know what I mean? Especially and when you're coming off of TikTok and stuff these days, bro. Yeah. I mm. hate TikTok yeah. with a passion, bro. Yeah. <laughs> it's so hard. We didn't hard. even use TikTok back then, bro. Uh, yeah, bro. It's so hard. Yeah, like, yeah. even when you're starting to get these mad views, yeah. and then it can just disappear for a yeah. bit. Yeah. I don't know. Well, for me, you guys might be pumping nah, still. Bro, oh, yeah. And the comment section oh, are crazy, bro. dude. It doesn't matter what TikTok's you post on that, you're getting exploded. roasted, bro. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter what you do. Yeah. You're a bitch on TikTok, yeah, bro. No one gives a shit about you, bro. No one gives a shit. TikTok is one of those apps, bro. You can Everyone's follow whoever, toughest. bro. Like, you, like, there's no thought into following and unfollowing. But if you get unfollowed on Instagram, bro, oh. like you're like, you what? feel that in your <laughs> heart, you feel that, bro. Like, you this guy took what the time do, out. Yeah. What did I do? <laughs> but legit though, yeah. No, it's it's an actual real feeling, bro. This you unfollowed you, bro. Hundred percent. Uh, you know who you are, bro. Oh. Hopefully, you watch this. <laughs> What's but, his name? Hey, huh? tell uh, us, bro. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Fence sitting, fence sitting right now, bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro, how was um? But yeah, tell us, tell us, how was this, uh, Sky Sesh? Was Sky Session you did today? Ah, no, we did a cipher, bro. Cipher, cipher. cipher. So what? You're you're going around and you're just putting on up and comers and. Rappers that already yeah, set a fight? Yeah, trying to, a bit of a mix of people, bro. Yeah. That's the goal. Like, put a, mix of, uh, put a mix of people, a couple of dudes who are already doing their thing, mm. a couple of dudes who are just starting off. Like, yeah. I had a dude in here, JJ4K. I don't know yeah, if you know who he is. Heard of him. He's from up D Bay, eh? True. Oh, no, no oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> young, JJ4K, young where's 4K? Does here? he have that cartoon DP? No, I don't know, bro. He's a, he's a young son, one fella from yeah. Northside. But he's hard, cool. bro. I just yeah. came across him a couple of days ago. Actually, Say True God said something about him. Had to listen. I was like, he's a beast. But like, I could only see a couple of songs out. So mm. people who are beasts, yeah. but like aren't actually out out there yet. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Mixed in with a couple of others. And yeah, just try and do a state to state thing. You know what I mean? That's so cool, bro. JJ4K. JJ4K. Um, yeah. And yeah, just see what we can do. This is the first of it. Runway ciphers. We'll see how we go. Runway ciphers. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Before you take Fuck. flight, you know what I mean? Yeah. Come on. Yes, sir. Um, Let's yeah, see. we'll see how we go. I think it should be hard. Who do you reckon has the? All right, this oh, is a good one. Here we go. Who do you reckon which which state has the best rappers? Best rappers? Yeah, mm. oh, as right. a collective, no, no individual. I, I think Sydney's gonna win because there's so many, bro. Mm. Yeah, you know, there's so many. Mm. But I really do love rappers from each state. Like that's yeah. not even me trying to fence them. Yeah, I think yeah. like mm. I actually love rappers from here yeah like Knox and amu and lissy like i love them as rap and nerve bro i talk nerve up all the time yeah, yeah. then you go to melbourne but i love melbourne yeah, <laughs> you yeah. know what i mean there's a guy called mogwai it's a bit of a different vibe mm. love mogwai yeah. um then you go to perth you got shadow for me bro shadow is a yeah. beast but it's, it's just so there's so many people there bro yeah you know what i mean you, just, you cover every every side of australian hip-hop bro. Yeah. have to bro you know is people still say like, why don't you cover this side yeah, why yeah, oh, yeah, bro? Yeah. That's insane, bro. Who's the best? Huh? Who's the best side? <laughs> you got your blacks. You got your Aussies. <laughs> you got your Pacific Islanders. You got your, your Aboriginals. Oh, Who's the best? Let's here? call this cancel win. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the best? No, 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 no. All right, let's, re let's redo it. <laughs> Who's the best Polynesian rapper? Who's oh, the, who's best, the best, best Lebanese? Oh, yeah. bro, Australian. this is hard, bro. It's hard, bro. The but people want to know. Bro. Yeah. People want to know. know. Nah. You, you got the platform, I actually couldn't bro. answer that, bro, because they're too hard, bro. Like, yeah. there's actually so many. I, I really couldn't put them on yeah. a... On a 
a different pedestal because there's so many good guns out there, yeah, bro. You're a fence sitter thing. right now, I'm bro. a fence sitter, bro. We need no, an but like even, <laughs> even off camera, I couldn't tell you, bro, yeah. because like there's so many, bro. And That's I love so everyone true, for so many eh? different reasons, bro. Like Amu, I love, bro. I love Amu because he's like singy vibes and his rap vibes. He pulls it yeah. into one and, it's, yeah, and he's so yeah. good at it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and from Melbourne. Melbourne is an absolute beast and he's severely underrated, bro. Uh, he's yeah. just the 100. energy he brings is fucked. Mm. The fact he's never popped, like he's actually, he's a good size, yeah. but I'm talking like, Taking oh, it to that yeah, next yeah, level, yeah, yeah. not selling out shows around the country. Yeah. He's a beast, bro. You know we, know. Mm. We, yeah, we, we, uh, we know. We know. But um, that, that's what I mean. How do you how do you compare that? Yeah, everyone for a different reason. Enough. Come on, yeah. all right. Now you tell me. Someone rapper that. Okay, okay. All right, Polynesian rapper. What he said. Polynesian rapper best in Australia. Yeah. Mm. Fuck. Yeah. 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 Grow some balls. No. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the best? Best hooks? I'll give it to Kimza. Oh, Kimza's a Kimza. beast, bro. Best beast, hooks, bro. easy. 100%. Best lyricist? Fuck, probably Amu. Yeah, Amu. Amu's a beast, eh? Lebos or Middle Eastern? Oh, bro, I, 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 I'm not taking flight, I don't <laughs> listen to that. I, That's where I only listen to, like, the Aussie Polynesians. Yeah. yeah that's yeah. your vibe. It is what it is. And a little bit of chill in it, a little bit of nerve, but yeah. it's predominantly just the, the yeah. yeah, Yeah, okay. That's one thing you can do that we can't. What's that? Like you can listen to different, people from Perth. Yeah, different yeah culture, but I have bro. to, bro. But like, yeah. that's the thing. I, I got myself in this bit. So you have to. I got oh! myself. <laughs> no, it's nah, true. Nah, I, got, nah, I got myself in this position. Like yeah. I can't lag on anyone. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, then yeah, I'd nah. just be being slack to that side yeah, of the audience, bro. Yeah, yeah. If I didn't, that's why I feel like Take Flight wouldn't be what it is. Mm. You know what I mean? Because yeah, yeah. like there are platforms that have been out there that only do stick to one side yeah. or one, or maybe not one, a yeah. few. And you leave out a side, then it's like, well, why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And people still say I do the same thing. Thing, bro. Yeah, People are like, yeah. why don't you listen? And I'm like, come on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> come on, bro. Hard, bro. Has it, like, has there been a rapper mm -hmm. that you thought was trash, mm -hmm. but is doing good now, and you're like, all right, nah. Uh, ah, oh, that's so a good question, that's bro. A bad one, nah. hey. I'm pretty good, eh? That, that is a good question, <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. I want to take him take flight, bro. Yeah. <laughs> nah. Bro, have you ever heard me mention someone and go, actually, nah? Far. Really? Yeah, I'm, I've, I've got to think hard on this one, bro. Mm. Well, who took you by surprise? Bro, this is actually a really hard question, bro. I don't know. I'll tell you mine. Yeah, here you go. Jizzle. Oh, Jizzle? He's the Jizzle man. Jizzle 06. Yeah. I wasn't like, not that I didn't like his vert. Like, Quick scroll for Spotify while you're talking. Yeah. Bro, it's, it's, I just didn't like, I, it's not that I didn't like, it's, I didn't it enjoy it. It, it wasn't, wasn't like my sound, you know what I mean? Stuff, yeah, yeah. And then he came up with some different, you know, styles. I was yeah. like, all right, nah, this guy. He started goes. adding the melodic shit yeah. to the. Oh, oh, that, actually, no, nah, I didn't think that was shit. But I I didn't think they were my favorite rapper. Yeah, so a Huncho, bro. A Dude. Huncho at the start, I wasn't personally a fan, and then these songs that come out the last few months, I'm like, so, this guy is <laughs> yeah, a beast, bro. Yeah, and yeah. I've I've said it a hundred times. His song with like Suspect and We Want Rafe's Final Destination was one of the hardest drill tracks uh, of last year, bro. Uh, um, uh. But yeah, so that. Is it but like he, he, bro, that shit was so hard, man. Yeah. That was so hard. hard. But I think before I even heard him talking, I watched a bit of a podcast he was on. He said he used to do the singing thing a bit more. Yeah, mm. yeah. I, I just wasn't a fan of that. But this, yeah. the, sh the hard shit that he raps is crazy, yeah. bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? Shit, that shit was so hard, man. Yeah. So, what, like, it, it came out. What was the one that you really realized and you're like, oh, okay. Final Destination so was Final like, Destination. bro, that's, I can't remember the other name. There was a few songs around the same time period, yeah. but Final Destination is one song that like I had on repeat for like weeks, bro. Uh. I still to this day, it's in my playlist, so I play it oh, all the time. <laughs> but that sick. shit was hard, bro. The verses <laughs> and like the other dudes on it obviously were hectic too. Yeah, yeah. But like that was hard, bro. Yeah, yeah. Big That's fan. mad. Yeah, that was cool, bro. Hey, Hunter, bro. Shout out to you, bro. bro. Big shout out, bro. Beast, bro. What's a, what's a song that you still, like you bang a lot? Who was your top artist for Spotify, sorry? Who, uh, you know what? I don't understand Spotify, bro. You're not a Spotify? No, I do. But I don't understand like why it said who it said. Because who? no offense to them, but like I don't listen to all their tracks every day. So oh, I said- It was oh. an Aussie rapper. No, no, no. <laughs> R Rops was my top Aussie rapper on the playlist, right? Mad. Oh yeah, yeah, Rops. But like, I don't listen to all his songs on repeat. Maybe because I just had like a couple of songs 24 um. seven. But yeah, so he must've been my guy for a bit, true, bro. Yeah. True. If, if it's off metrics, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, it can yeah, be hard. wrong, bro. Yeah, right. Who was yours? Whiskey. Yeah, oh, true. Mad, mad. African, African Afrobeats. 
Mm. I just, bro. I'll... This year, I already know who it's going to be. Not from Australia, though. T Grizzly. Have you heard of him, bro? Yeah. Bro. T Grizzly. Yeah. Bro. I've had his yeah, album on have... repeat this What's entire year. Um, It's a new song. He looks <laughs> like you. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's he must be sexy as. <laughs> bro, he's a beast, too, so don't worry. Have you, you got connects with those guys? Like in Overseas? America? Nah, yeah. I haven't tried, bro. Mm. Like, not. That's another goal for this year. Yeah. yeah. Again, yeah. I didn't expect to start the year with all these international artists, but. Mm. I do have a goal to try and interview more of them, maybe yeah. even over there, give it a go, get out there for yeah. a couple of weeks, see what I can do. Yeah. Because a lot of those guys are never coming here, bro. Mm. You know what I mean? <laughs> but it'd be Fair. mad just to have a chat with it and bring it yeah. back here because I know a lot of people here rate them too. Mm. You know what I mean? And yeah. it, why not? Give it a go. Yeah, yeah. You follow them or mm. like yeah. you in their presence. And Shit's crazy, bro. Yeah. And then what do you, you responded, why? Yeah, it's, it's, bro, it's interesting to me still. Yeah. Like, again, I'm just a dude with a phone yeah. that posts about music shit that I think is mad yeah. or that I think other people think is mad because yeah. like, you know, we got to do that for hype. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so when people are like, gee, like we we're just saying off camera, bro, like in this studio, I had a, a family come in with one of the rappers. It was like, yeah. can we all get a photo? Yeah. I'm like, what That's the it. fuck are you talking yeah, about, yeah. bro? Like why? But <laughs> yeah. it, it is hectic. Don't get me wrong. It's fucking yeah. mad, but I'm still just like, and like the one, the first time that I saw like absolute craziness is I went to Curse's show. Bro, Cursor's fans are crazy, bro. Cursor has the best, most dedicated fans, bro. Can I just say, if you've got a white person audience, you're winning, bro. Yeah, These yeah. guys show so much love, bro. Yeah. And it's a good thing, bro. Yeah. They show so much love. We put out, all I did was pull out the mic and they're like, oh, that's Take Flight. <laughs> take Flight. <laughs> like, and there's a video online of some girl absolutely screaming into the mic. I fucking love your shit. This yeah, stuff. I don't yeah. know if you saw it, bro, but like they show so much love, bro. Yeah, that's that's what made me realize like, oh, there's a bunch of people that oh. are actually following yeah, this yeah. stuff, man. Mm. And like until you're in that kind of area where everyone is kind of around the same yeah. scene, yeah. Yeah. I never really realized yeah. it before, man. Yeah. Think about it like this, bro. Your, your, like, your personality is, is so, how would you say it? Not foreign, but <laughs> oh, foreign. I know. Like, like, it's like people can relate to it in where they feel like they can talk to you like that in real life. Bro. That's mad. Bro. You know what I mean? So like, imagine imagine walking past Carl from Sunrise. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? He's just he's a reporter. Carl. You know Kyle? Carl? Carl is it Carl? Carl Stefanovi. Oh, he's not Carl. Sunrise. Come on, bro. Who? Carl Stefanovi. Oh, he's on fuck. the other one, Channel Nine, huh? Oh fuck! So Think, that's um, that's a tennis player. <laughs> I know who you're talking about, but Carl. the funny dude. The exactly, funny dude. exactly. Yeah. But you know what I mean? Mm. It's like, all right, I don't know if I should. I, I wouldn't know anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a bit awkward. It's a bit awkward. Yeah, I guess that's true. It's just like you guys, bro. You're just real people. Yeah, yeah. You're just mm. here doing something you love yeah. because you can. Yeah. yeah but I think it's, it would be different for us, right? Because we go out. Mm. And people will crack a joke right in front of us. Ah, uh, I don't know. They, 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 they expect like, us to be funny. <laughs> yeah, bro. Are they gonna laugh? Yeah, bro. Or like, oh, oh, on the opposite shit. side, it's like if you see, tell me a joke. Yeah, exactly, bro. <laughs> tell me a joke. But I remember when Bender Bros first popped off. Mm. Bro, I went to this festival. Promise that first. Can you do the dance? Can you do the dance? Oh, bro, no I just got bro. there, bro. Like, what the Next minute, you turn around, he's like, yes, yeah, I can, bro. He's going to take shirt off. Of course I can, bro. <laughs> but yeah, it's like that, bro. Like Where people kind of like admire how you are on camera and be like, all oh, right, I... I uh, maybe this guy is locked out with me. You know what I mean? It is mad, bro. Because like at the start, when I started Take Flight, I know I wanted to do interviews, mm. but I didn't think once Take Flight went the way it did, in my head, I wasn't going to be the front man mm. of it, bro. Like I just wanted to start this thing and I wanted to do interviews here, there. But like it became like full on, like I'm mm. doing heaps of interviews. I'm doing Sky yeah. sessions every yeah, week. So yeah. obviously my face is popping up everywhere. Yeah. And I'm not opposed to it. It is what it is. And it, if anything, that's helped the brand grow more than anything. Because I've had a couple of people in good positions say, that's why we fuck with Take Flight. Yeah. Cause we see you, we see what you're doing and we're yeah. like proud to watch it happen. I'm yeah, like, fuck, but I appreciate that, man. Like what else yeah, can I say? Yeah. That's honestly, that's hectic. Yeah. Do you, do you ever get overwhelmed sometimes? You, nah, it hasn't been that crazy yet, bro. Yeah. It hasn't been that crazy. You know yeah. what I mean? The curse again, but like, I think I was just impressed. I was like, holy yeah. shit, all these yeah, people yeah. know Take Flight in yeah, line. Yeah, yeah. And you know, I was mad cause I was talking to Olin Teckers one time. You know, Olin yeah, Teckers, yeah, the yeah, TikToker. TikToker. The UK dude. And he was like- Is that the African? Yeah. yeah. Yes. And okay. he was just like, it's so much easier for me to go out in public because people know me now. Like, fuck going out in public where no one knows you trying to talk to the public. Yeah, you know what right, I mean? Right. I hate that. It's like being mm. like one of those sales guys trying to sell- Charity spots, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like you know the shopping center. Yeah. No Just one wants to talk to ones. you. Yeah, yeah, no one wants to talk yeah, to you. Yeah. But once people know your face, they know you're there for a good time. They yeah. just come fucking, yeah, you know, mo Magnet, mob out. Yeah, it's crazy. That's mad. What's I think people like? just want to feel 
you know, what the artists are feeling, what yeah. they see on yeah. screen. Because yeah. that's why they, they think you're approachable because they yeah. want that from you. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense, actually. Yeah. yeah. But if you want to interview, make sure they're drunk. <laughs> it's easy, it's easy to me, bro. 100%. Bro, what's it like spinning it up and like doing that podcast with uh, your Koei? What's his name? Kevin? Kev. Kevin, bro. 24 character. Kev, yeah, yeah, shout out. Kev, 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 here we go. Say have something crazy. Seen, nah, have you seen have you seen Hangover? Hangover, <laughs> 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 Right. Just, you you talking that guy. Yeah, oh my god. That's crazy. Bro. Um Mr. What's his name? The Asian one. The Asian one on <laughs> Hangover. What's his name? Right. Mr. Chong? Mr. Chong, bro. Oh. I just I was just picturing him. I'm just going to rest me saying it, bro. No, no, I, no, just no, I said it. You all thought it. Hey, come on now. <laughs> hey, no, no disrespect to you, bro. That's just... No, bro, yeah. shout out to Kevin, But he's man. been in the game for ages too, he has, bro. Like, yeah. It's funny when, um, when Take Flight first came about, like... Before I kicked off the interviews, I started watching people's interviews to be like, yeah, what can Kim I do? Yeah, was one of the OGs. I was bro. like, what can I do and not do, bro? And one thing I noticed is like, he did things well, bro. Like he held yeah. himself well. He's been doing journalist shit forever. Like he's yeah. interviewed like Kim Kardashian and that, bro. Yeah, like yeah, like, like the top of the top. I just say Kim K because everyone knows yeah, it. Yeah. But like he's been interviewing everyone, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So watching his interviews and seeing how he does it, I was like, if I, this was a real story. I said to people, I said like, if I ever worked with anyone, it would just be him. And the time came, we actually tried to get a spot on Kader. Oh, True. man. Kader were gronks. Don't worry about that. They, they, <laughs> <laughs> I actually like Kader, bro. They, they, <laughs> they tried to block me from doing uh, putting out an interview for a certain amount of time. And I was oh, like, bro, wow, I'm just what? a dude in the scene. This was like a company that has a lot of money. So yeah. I was kind of, I was taken back by that. Station. So from there, I was like, all right, don't worry about it. Don't worry. Kader's gone now. No one's on it. Everyone's left. It's all, Everyone's oh, got kicked out. But anyway, yeah. you can oh, fuck. choose to oh, yeah. leave or keep. Yeah, it is, man. Anyway, from then, I was just like, all right, we're not doing that. Yeah. And then a few weeks later, I was like, bro, do you want to start a podcast maybe? And just kicked off from there. But it's cool work with him, bro. Like, he knows his shit. Yeah. Yeah, we yeah. also have two different sides, bro. Like, mm. again, the last 10 years I've been around African boys. Mm. Shout out my guy, Spacely. If I don't shout out, I'm a dog. Mm. So shout, out, <laughs> shout out, Space, bro. Mm. Um, so and he was very into the Australian rap side, yeah. Mm. The the nerves, the chills, yep. the the shadows, that that grime base that really mm. took off in that period. Yep. So it was good to have his headspace when it comes to that shit too. Mm. Um, early on, when I didn't know everything yeah, across yeah, the board, yeah. we had two different mindsets and we mm. just made it work together, bro. That's, that's it was, sick, it was bro. hectic. That's the best way to do it. Yeah, yeah. two different personalities. It was mindsets. hectic, bro. That's hundred. Yeah, bro. It's perfect match, bro. Mm. Yin and Yang, Mister Chong. <laughs> Shout out my boy, Shout bro. Shout out 24 Cat Shout Kev. Out my boy. Yeah, I, I was like, Kev, I was gobsmacked when I seen him on the One Four documentary. Mm. Speaking of that, One Four documentary, that was mad. Hectic. That was heavy. It was. You hectic. went to the premiere as well. Eh? I did, bro. It That's was. It sick. was. It was so hectic to see, bro. Yeah. Not gonna lie. Got that early preview on my Netflix, bro. They, hey. uh, Netflix reached out. They're like, we wanna, we wanna quote from someone from a few people to yeah. put into the trailer. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I was man. like, fuck, I'm gonna get my my little quote in there. Yeah, made man. it in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um. You know, it's funny. They're like, so you got a Netflix account for us to transfer it on? I didn't have a Netflix account, bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro, we're using my brother-in-laws and that was at the time they were kicking everyone off because of the shared accounts thing. Oh, <laughs> bro, so I, had to tell, the password. I, I had to tell Netflix, I don't got Netflix, bro. I was like, I don't have it, but I'll subscription? sign up tomorrow, bro. I'll sign up tomorrow. Uh -huh. So I literally signed up the next day. They added it to the account <laughs> and I was like, let's go. And I watched it and I was like, taken back, bro. Because like, I know a lot of the shit that's been going on. Not that I know them personally, mm, yeah. but like you hear about it, yeah. you see about it, mm. but like I didn't know to what extent some things were. Yeah. So to watch it from that side and like my favorite part was towards the end, seeing how proud and excited they were to get on that stage oh, yeah. with Kid Leroy. Yeah. Oh, and yeah, they, it was like, bro, uh, this is hectic, bro. Mm, you know what mm. I mean? That was a good thing about yeah. it. Yeah. That's mad. I love that story, bro. bro they you got didn't a crazy have a story. Netflix account. Bro, bro. How <laughs> funny, bro. Imagine trying to tell Netflix in this day and age you don't have a Netflix account. I felt like a dickhead. But in the end, I got one. They got my subscription money. Don't worry. Oh, um, bro. Um, but yeah, no, it was cool, bro. I really, mm. uh, the documentary itself was done so well. Shout out to yeah. everyone involved yeah. because yeah, it was done word. so hectic. Whoever made it, they word. need to make a take flight documentary one day. That's <laughs> yeah, all I'm word. saying. 100%, bro. Uh, you, you've been doing this for a minute. And when I say a minute, bro, like how many years? I've seen on your stories a couple of times, bro. You've been doing this for. However long. Yeah, oh, yeah, it depends what, what, what section you're talking like, about, like, you know what like I mean? Like, take flight. Yeah. The, like You know what I mean? Like, just the name itself. Oh, the you name, yeah. I mean? Since 2012, bro. Exactly, April bro. 2012, I could tell you exactly. Yeah. It's when it, it came about. So, anytime from then on, take flight was alive. Yeah, bro. That's the best. Bro, you're, you're 
a walking testimony of it's not easy, bro. And it, it takes time. It's an mm. actual marathon. Facts, bro. bro. And you know what the biggest thing is, bro? Mm. Being able to like pivot where you're at. Mm. You know what I mean? A lot Being of people able to adapt and change. That's it, bro. Like, okay, I tried to do the music thing. I loved it. Again, obviously didn't love it enough to put in as much effort as I yeah. should. Yeah. But down the track, I found something I was good at. Mm. I pivoted it completely, yeah. went hard, and I like, it pays off. Come on, baby. That's a, you know what I mean? Sheet. It pays off. And that yeah. can be said in like so many different ways, shapes, and forms, bro. Yeah. If you're making music. Yeah. And this is something I saw the other day, bro. They're like, if you're making this niche rap song, right? Hectic. If you love it, go for gold. Make mm. it. But then you can't get angry when radio stations aren't playing it because mm. it doesn't appeal to the masses. But yeah. you love it because it's niche. Yeah, yeah. As long as you love it, yeah. go for gold. Yeah. But don't be angry when it doesn't appeal yeah. to... If you are trying to make fame or get something out of it, adapt. It. adapt. Yeah. Yeah. Switch over. What? See yeah. what works and go for gold, bro. Yeah. And that's like take flight every day. You just got to adapt, bro. See what's working. Come move on, along. Bro. That's hectic. Adapt bro. and move along, boys. Come, Come on, on man. Come on. You haven't had to adapt yet because you came into the game killing it. <laughs> no, 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 but that's no, it. That's, that's mad, the one bro. thing we've learned. We, we, we've learned to adapt and yeah. really pivot at the right point. Yeah. And make sure we don't stay stagnant. That's you know, just, like fucking just keep, keep moving. moving bro. Yeah, right. keep, moving. keep moving is the main thing, bro. Mm. Consistency is everything in yeah. every way, shape, or form. Doesn't mm. matter what part of the world you're working in yeah. consistency is everything bro yeah yeah and I'm, I'm guessing bro you'll still be posting shit if you ain't popped off now if like, what if you went to pop off now you would still I, be doing your thing because I, I, I believed in it from the start yeah. bro well, yeah. at the start I didn't know it was going to be what it is now yeah. mm. and I was still posting every single day yeah. Yeah. yeah minimum every day once a day yeah and I was still just that's I nice, love the bro. shit bro when you actually yeah. love it when you love it it's you just you don't give a shit you're yeah, like bro. I'm just going to do it bro yeah, yeah. 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 Hectic. <laughs> you got that dog. Now, 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 you got that dog. <laughs> bro, I'm bro. still buzzing now that we're sitting here with you. 100. Bro. Full circle this moments, is, yeah. bro. It's all like I say. Full real, circle bro. moments. I was, thinking, I was like fucking having to think about it before I come here. I was like, fuck, this, this bloke was like one of our first big names that you know, yeah. started. Yeah, big names, he reckons. It's the beers. It's the beers. You're being fucking, you're being too humble, mate. Fucking hell. Nah, but. But yeah, like I was proper having to think. I was like, man. It's crazy how the world works and how time can fucking make things like Put fall into, into place. Yeah, yeah, fall yeah. into place. Hundred percent, bro. It's you want to know a crazy quick backstory that yeah. I just think is crazy? So in 2012, I went to America, and I bought the wrong tickets to a Mac Miller show, bro. Shit. I just uh, we had three tickets and it was the wrong day. I bought the wrong right, day, yeah. so we ended up just chilling. I was like, I wonder if I can meet the dude, bro. So we went back afterwards, stood around the back, um, waited a bit. His friends come out, bro, and they come over and we're like, hey, what's happening, bro? Like, we're just trying to meet Mac, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I was young, yeah, yeah. I was excited. And he's like, bro, we actually saw you before. We thought, yeah. fuck, that guy looks like Mac, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, so that yeah. was funny. Anyway, met Mac's friends, all good. Ended up meeting Mac Miller that day, which was mad. Hey, R.I.P., bro. But look, that was 2012. Last year, 2023, I had um, an artist named Earth Gang from the US come in and do a quick little interview yeah. with me. And there was a guy in the room outside sitting there. And he, I went out, I was wearing a Judah shirt. He was like, mad Judah shirt. I was like, oh, you know Judah? He told me how I knew him. Didn't think nothing of it. I was like, mad. I told Judah and he said the guy's name, which was Q. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, Q? Are you talking like, and I've been Mac Miller's best friend who I met in the back streets of New York in 2012. Now, now in our studio. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it was just what? strange. Yeah. A full circle moment. See, we're backstage bro. trying to meet these guys. Yeah. Now you're in our studio for yeah. us to interview. Like, he was managing them, I think, like that. Yeah. But like, full circle moments like that's that nuts. is crazy to me, bro. Yeah, yeah. Fuck. I don't know if that's exciting, but no, I thought, that's that's mad, I thought bro. it was fucking like hectic, bro. bro. I thought that's it was so hectic. hectic. Yeah, I thought it was mad. That is nuts, bro. Oh, yeah. Literally shit. full circle. Yeah, bro. You were out there begging and now he's your fucking. He's just saying, kick him back. Studio, you know what I mean? it was, it was fucking like, mad. Nah, man. So, anything else coming up this year, bro? Like, what, what's what, what, what's to look out for with Take Flight? Mm. Bro, trying to keep busy this year again, yeah. just like every other fucking year we've since we started, bro. Like, I'm just trying to bring in as much music from artists as I can, right? Mm. Like, it's a bit quiet right now, and yeah. people are gonna mm. be like, "Oh, people are dropping every day," but like, <laughs> yeah, there's there's different yeah. levels of people, right? Yeah, so mm. it's, it's all good. Um, but we're trying to get a lot more people rapping, so I have more segments coming. As you said, we've got the cypher in here, so mm -hmm. I'm going to try and get to every state of Australia in the next few months. Yeah. Um, get those coming. i got another studio kind of freestyle sessions coming. It's going to be fucking hectic. I'll show you the Let's prop we got see. for this, bro. Let's Wait go. till you see it. Yeah. I just want people rapping some more. But my main goal is just, 
just go as hard as I can so we can take flight. Like, yeah. You know, yeah, baby. Like, so we can take yeah, flight. Yeah, I just meant so we can so get we take flight. Take flight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But on, I just bro. want shit to keep moving, bro. Yeah. Because even like the artists that people would say are at the top right now, everything's a little bit too quiet mm. Mm. in my opinion right yeah, at this moment. Yeah. So I just want to see everyone working. And I think it's time for like these young artists to come through and mm -hmm. fucking yeah. take, take new crowns. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. There's so much space for people to come through. Yeah. But we just got to get people making that yeah. content, bro. Getting yeah. out there. Yes. One more question, bro. I actually want, I was thinking Here about this go. yesterday. I didn't think this, this to myself. I was like, "What do you reckon it was about that 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 drill phase where everyone was doing drill? Crazy, huh? Everyone was doing drill, and then it faded off bad. Look, Take Flight wasn't fully active during that time so i can't talk too mm, much about it but, yeah. but i don't know it was just the change in energy out here bro yeah. i'm telling you like the ch and to be fair people started rapping real fucking hard bro yeah. <laughs> like people like obviously one four yeah. came through and just started doing the hardest shit mm, yeah. and it just started spotlighting different communities you, know, you had the like the white rappers going crazy out here for mm. years yeah mm. but like it put a big shine on like the poly artists out here yeah, right yeah. everyone you talk to they're like they put they made poly artists think, oh, we can do this too, bro. Yeah, we right. can go crazy. Yeah. And I think, yeah, that was just it. And there's like the underdog story, bro. Yeah, Big yeah. underdog story from everyone. Like we're just talking about our stories from our streets. Obviously, there was a shitload of people out there talking yeah. shit at the same time. Yeah. 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 But like mm. for the people that are actually out there that came from, I don't know, from a terrible day, backstory, yeah. Had, yeah. had all this shit happening. It was just a good way for them to get it out. And that wasn't really being done in a spotlight moment in Australia mm. before. Yeah, yeah. Again, I can't talk about a lot of the sides that I didn't know about back then either <coughs> yep. because I came in knowing just one side yeah, you know yeah, what I mean yeah. but I feel like that, that's what helped the pop and let's be serious the music was fucking hard bro you know what I mean so, I was so a massive hard fan, bro, bro. <laughs> yeah. it is quiet now right? yeah. Yeah. it is Big quiet time. yeah Big time, drill is so quiet I think, yeah I think the, the Aussie scene slowly moved away from the drill not because it wasn't they weren't good at it, it was, I think everyone wanted to move away from being those guys yeah because I feel that's what I've that's personally what I think. Mm. I think no one wants to be fucking go out and kill you, kill you, yeah. this guy, kill that guy, you know what I mean? And like the like we've talked about a hundred times, take flight, like the rap rap ships coming back. Like yeah. people are having to rap rap yeah. again, yeah. bro. Like yeah. put thought into what they're doing, their yeah. bars, their schemes, their, all of that. Yeah. So people are like fully having to work for yeah. it again yeah. now. Yeah. I don't I just want to know what's coming next, bro. Yeah. Like I don't actually bro. under I don't I don't know. I can't even yeah. guess what kind of style is gonna be the next pop in Australia. Because yeah, you know, yeah. we had Grime. Mm. Grime was huge and set off that whole market. Mm. Drew went crazy and took it to yeah. another level yet again yeah. there has to be something next but whatever it is I just hope it's hectic bro, yeah, bro. you know what I mean and I hopefully I, I hope just one day that like someone comes out with their own sound in Australia bro. Yeah. and like people bro. doing their own thing but I mean like something that really pops worldwide yeah. I know people hate our accents Hate yeah. it, bro. G'day, mate. Oh, yeah. But like, <laughs> it, we're not like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. But like, I get it. It's gonna take some getting used to. But yeah, it was yeah. the same as the UK. Yeah. It was the same as them trying to get into the US. It's starting to happen. Yeah. Like, it'll just take some time. Yeah. Longevity type, bro. Uh, before we close up, so is there anything that you wanna, any advice that you wanna give to a young mm. entrepreneur that wants to pursue their dreams and do stuff? Not even in this industry, but just like, you know, in life, yeah. bro. Coming from where you came from and your whole story leading up to all now. All your experiences, yeah, bro. bro. Like, but I'm, I'm living proof mm. that you just need to get out there and fucking do what you think is right at the time. Come get on. out there and do what you love to do. Yeah. Yes, like I said, sir. I was in a band, bro. Yeah. That shit was fun. I toured the country just yeah, doing yeah. fun shit. We weren't huge, but we had fun. Yeah. Yeah. I did the rap shit. I played with some of my favorite artists at the time around Australia, bro. That's I made sick. some connects like crazy. I wanted to start doing interviews interviews going crazy bro all mm. because i was just like hey why the fuck not why yeah, like why yeah. can't i do it get out there keep doing the shit mm. make sure you love what you do and just put in that consistency bro i said it before need consistency is everything and people like respect yeah you know the hard work you put in like yeah, you yeah, might not feel at the time like i said i don't see why some people respect what we do mm, yeah, not yeah. not respect why some people love so much what i do but i think they just and they just tap in and they say, fuck, this guy's been working hard. Yeah. They love it. And they, they're encouraged to do more, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Like with me, man, like, like I said before, people show respect because they're like, I can see how much you've put in, how much work you've done in yeah, the 100, background. 100. Bro, we appreciate you. So like, that's it. Just get out there and get shit done, bro. Oh, I got a quick shout out to my guy from Melbourne, Shepard, because mm. not a lot of people are doing interviews right now. Yeah. yeah? And I've been looking for some more Take Flight team for the yeah. future. Yeah. Just yeah. to... Yeah, when I'm 45, mm. am I going to be wanting to be out at a festival doing true. this and that? Yeah, I want to kick back with my kid at home. Hard, you know yeah, what I mean? Hard, but like this guy, Shepard, bro. Shout out Shepard, bro. Shout out Shepard. Have you seen him, bro? He's, he's, he's getting out there. His first interviews was with like 
Oh, I can't. He, he interviewed T.I. the other day too. So shout out hey. to him. Uh, yeah, he, and he just hustled his way into the back. Hey, you know what I mean? That's shout, sick. So like, but people like him, just yeah. get out there. Go get you it, see bro. what you want to yeah, do, just yeah. get out there and get the fucking thing done, yeah, bro. Yes, sir. 100, bro. Any more, any more shout outs, any more plugs, bro? Nah, shout out to the huh? whole country, bro. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Aussie, 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 baby. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> get out there, make some music, bro. Make some fucking cool clothing yeah. brands because we're bro. pumping that shit on Take Flight 2 these days. Just get out there and make moves, bro. The whole country, everyone moves together. Everyone keeps growing yeah love bro that, i'd geez. be nothing literally i'd be absolutely zero without the artists that we promote every day 100. take flight would not exist yeah so everyone help me out <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> get the fuck yeah. outside <laughs> do some fun shit grow your fan base and let's yeah. bro take us straight to the world assassin love love that, bro. Hell, bro. hey we just want to say a massive thank you for coming Come on, on bro. i appreciate it's you guys pleasure having you on here bro 100. hey guys if you need any uh bookings for studios podcast content bro trojan yes, studios trojan, baby. hey they just did this offer today, bro. Trojan, Trojan Studios. Studios. Come Let on, them get know, out of here, bro. bro. Hey, so while he's trying to take flight, we need you to take off. Hey, bet the bubbers <laughs> out, baby. Yeah. Yeah.